Podcast. Welcome back for another video, guys. I'm going to be doing a series uh, probably once a week here for the next few weeks where I'm going to be talking about some of the decoys that I used this past season. This was a big year for me because I started to use a bunch of different puddle duck decoys that Final Approach came out with. So this is the first year with all of these new puddlers being released, and it's also my first year using pintail decoys or shoveler decoys or gadwall decoys because in years past, all I've really used are green wing decoys and mallard decoys. So this was a, a fun year for me because I got to experiment with other decoys in the spread and I've kind of got some interesting observations to uh, share with you guys and get your opinion on. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna be more of like a podcast topic of some sort or if you know, we can start a conversation in the comment section of this video, but uh, I wanna start today, uh, the first video of the series with the live pintails here from Final Approach because I've got a question for you guys regarding puddle duck decoys in general. So this was my first season running pintail decoys and it seemed like this year was the year of pintails for me. I shot way more pintails this year than I have ever in years past. And I don't know if it's because I was running pintail decoys in the set or if it was just a coincidence. So let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever experienced that using other puddle duck decoys, whether it's shovelers, mallard, or not mallards, uh, pintails, gadwall. Do you experience those birds to decoy better when you have those decoys in your set or not? Because like I said, this was my first year running other puddle ducks in the spread other than teal and mallards. So, you know, I kind of had a control from years past and this year it seems like after I added these decoys, I shot a bunch more pintails. So it could just be coincidence with the migration or it has some correlation to deal with the pintail decoys in the spread. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And before we get too far into this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, leaving a thumbs up helps out tremendously. These are the live pintails from Final Approach. Ran these pretty much every duck hunt of the season, at least just one of them in the spread. This is what they look like after a heavy season of use. Uh, they are a one piece EVA floating pintail. So EVA, it's got that squishy soft plastic that we all love, it can take a beating and it's porous. So when they put paint on these, the paint actually soaks into the plastic. So it gives you way better paint adhesion. So with that being said, take a close look at this pintail decoy. And I, I'm looking at it and I can't really tell if there is much paint wear or tear at all on this thing. So. I would have to say that these decoys held up extremely well this year. Not, not even a lick of paint coming off these things. They come in a six pack with two head positions. So you get two of these uh, feeder drakes and two of these rester drakes. No high heads in that pack. They're just kind of chilling on the water doing what they do. It's an all drake pack, which I like because I don't need more brown ducks in the spread. I've got a bunch of mallard hens. I'll throw those out there as well. And I like these pintail decoys in particular because they add a splash of color to the set. You know, they get the light gray with the black and white on the back. They got the white chest. They got this big long black sprig on there. They just add a lot of contrast and bright colors to the spread that can catch the attention of the ducks. So I like that a lot about these pintail decoys. They've held up well. I haven't had any issues with them. Throw them out, they self-correct every single time. They can bang up and not show any signs of wear and tear. Final Approach knocked it out of the park with these things. A couple of little small complaints I have with these is their size is just a touch small, but that doesn't bother me all that much, especially because I like using some smaller decoys so I can throw more in the kayak or in the sled. So I'd say they're pretty much a standard size pintail decoy but maybe a little bit smaller than what some other brands are pumping out. And then my only other kind of complaint with these decoys is just really small and it's pretty much hard to tell at this point because they're kind of dusty, but um, there's some really heavy iridescent paint on the head and the back. And I think that's gonna get corrected for next year's run of these decoys. But uh, other than that, they look fantastic. They've held up great and I've enjoyed using these because it just adds a little splash of color to the spread, especially this year when I was running some really small sets of like eight to 10 decoys. 
I would take mallards and some pulsators and one or two of these guys or maybe a spoonie, something to throw some color into the set. So I really like these for that. And it just seems like ever since I started using these, I've started shooting more pintails. So I don't know if there's some correlation there or not, but I think these decoys are killer. They come in at a good price and they've held up extremely well. So I would recommend them. If you guys want to take a closer look at these on the website, head over to fabrand.com and check them out. I will leave a link in the description of this video. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a video over all of the new decoys that I got this year, giving you guys a little bit of an in-depth review and a closer look at the decoys themselves after a full season of use. So stay tuned. I'm probably going to be pumping them out once a week for you guys, just some quick little short videos and uh, letting you guys know what I've thought about these decoys, how they've held up and give you guys a thumbs up, thumbs down, thumb in the middle if I recommend them or not. So check them out, fabrand.com. I highly recommend the live pin tills. Good price, good durability, good solid decoy. You can't go wrong with them. But that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one.